Hey guys, Coach Gary down here at AIM Fitness Plainville, uh, and we're going to go over today's exercise of the week. Uh, the exercise of the week is coming to you from our small group training program. Uh, it is a staggering stance or a single leg sandbag clean to good morning. Okay, um, So, we're going to get a sandbag at a moderate load, okay? Uh, lighter, it's probably a little bit better, especially when first doing the exercise uh, because of the position on the body. It's going to be a lot to stabilize. So what we're going to do first is get our staggered position. So feet are going to start, right, go from here. Feet start at our normal hip width position as if we're doing an RDL. Then we're just going to stagger one foot back. That stagger, guys, is not a full step, right? If you watch, the toe comes even with the opposite heel. Not a big step, right? I'm not going back. All I'm doing is dragging my toe in up so it's even with my heel. Then the sandbag is going to start on my foot, okay, nice and close to the body so I get a good hinge. Hips are back, back to flat, I'm grabbing onto our neutral grip handles. Again, we have our sandbag, so we can reach the ultimate sandbag, all right, that way this handle doesn't end up hitting me in the face. Hinge back, back's flat, I'm gonna drive through the hips as I do, elbows come high, the bag rolls up into a clean. Now, I'm in a nice zerker position here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna engage my shoulders nice and tight, I still have that foot planted. Hips are going to go back, back so they stay flat. I'm going to get a big stretch with the glutes and hamstrings, making sure that I'm pushing my hips back, all right, stabilizing with the show blades. Drive the heel into the floor. I right, stand tall, roll down, reset. Big things to watch for, guys, here, okay? One, with your clean, that the elbows come up by the body so that we have a nice flat position that the bag rolls up of versus swinging it out in front of us and having it land in our face. The other thing, is once we're up, that we engage our shoulders and push. If you notice, the hip itself actually moves away, right? My hips go backwards as opposed to staying in this position and letting my chest come forward. If my chest comes forward, I'm gonna be using all of my lower back. If I'm pushing my hips backwards, away from that position, okay, the back stays flat and the load goes right across my glutes and hamstring. Now, this exercise, guys, is great for, one, you know, getting those hamstrings and glutes going. Two, it's going to help with stabilizing your back, right? So we want to make sure we have a nice, strong erectors. So when we want to stabilize larger loads in, like, things like deadlifts and, um, uh, you know, any kind of Olympic lifting, a high pull, we want to make sure that those are nice and strong so that we're not breaking through and breaking out of form. So if you guys have any questions about this exercise, or any other exercise, make sure you talk to one of your coaches. Otherwise, I hope to see you at your next workout.